So let's first look at how to connect our machine to the system. In most cases, the easiest method is by removing a small downstairs radiator and connecting to the valves, like so. But you could connect by way of a pump head adapter, or even by removing the circulating pump completely. Do bear in mind that by connecting directly through the circulating pump, you will not be able to operate the boiler during the flush. Whatever you feel is the best way for you as the engineer on that particular system. Connect the Pro Flush unit to the mains water source and ensure that the dump hoses are situated safely running out to a suitable flower drain. Fill the Pro Flush tank about half full with mains water. Ideally your chemicals should be added three to four days prior to going on to site to power flush, but this is not practical in hot weather when the heating is turned off. You will have to pre-dose and use the boiler to heat the system before making your connections to the circuit if it is in your intention to connect via the circulating pump. Turn on the mains water supply to the machine until it reaches just below the maximum level, adding the chemicals if this has not been previously done. Working on a closed system such as a combi or one with a system boiler, the procedure is very similar to an open vented system except that you won't have to feed an expansion tank to drain and isolate. Turn off the boiler and isolate the electrics. Make your connections to the, circuit, the system circuit in the same way as you would with an open vented system. Ensure that all rad valves are in the fully open position. Open the connector valves and start up the Pro Flush machine. Add your chemicals if you have not done so beforehand. Allow the chemicals to operate and circulate around the system for 15 to 20 minutes, then turn off the Pro Flush pump and isolate it. Repressurize the system, turn on the boiler and let the system heat up as normal. Isolate individual radiators when hot and give attention to poorly performing radiators the same way as you would with an open vented system. When you are happy that all the radiators are hot, then turn off the boiler, open the valves to the Pro Flush machine and restart the pump. Direct the flow to individual radiators if necessary until you are happy that the entire system is as good as you want it to be. If a radiator is particularly bad, you may have to quickly reverse flow like this in order to remove as much of the debris as possible. Start to flush out individual radiators to foul drain. Isolate all the radiators except the one closest to where you are working and start to flush that radiator to drain. The first radiator will always take longer depending on the size of the system circuit and taking into account the water in the Pro Flush tank and the boiler. When the first radiator is found to be clear at the dump end, obtain a TDS reading with the meter. Once the reading is no more than 10% above the mains water reading, close off the radiator at both ends to prevent possible cross-contamination and open the next one in line. Continue the same procedure on every radiator until the system is clean. You can then reopen all the radiator valves fully. When all the radiators are clean, add an inhibitor to the system, disconnect the Pro Flush machine, repressurize the boiler, fire up and commission as normal. In this short video, we cannot possibly cover every eventuality, but we hope that this brief run through will be useful and help you to power flush systems correctly and efficiently. If you require more detailed information about power flushing, go to our website at www.proflush.co.uk and download the appropriate documents from the FAQ section or view other videos in the Pro Flush Technical Training Library. Please contact us direct if you have any queries.